Step five, don't let your religion cock block you. Religion has a lot to do with a lot of men's extended virginity. When you're a teenager, at the urging of a religious authority of some kind, maybe at some kind of event or conference, you make the commitment to abstinence until marriage. But the problem is that you don't get married. In many uh, Western developed countries, the average age that people are getting married is in their late 20s or early 30s. So if you make that commitment to abstinence from sex in your late teens and your mid-teens, you're going to be waiting a decade, 15 years. You really have a lot of time in between. You really have uh, years and years and years of blue balls ahead of you. Sorry about this quick interruption. I've got an important call to action for you. Please go watch this video and subscribe to Limitless Mindset over on one of the alt tech platforms, Rumble or Odyssey. And that is where you can catch my latest videos along with browsing my entire library of content and videos and podcasts. Over 700 pieces of edifying content about biohacking, nootropics, smart drugs, anti-aging, life hacking, about my pragmatic full spectrum anti-fragility philosophy. If you value health freedom, I urge you to get outside of your digital comfort zone just a little and vote for the kind of future you want with your attention. Join and use the pro free speech social media platforms. I have the links below this video to where you can connect with me on those platforms. I do pay more attention to the comments that I get on those. Please don't procrastinate any further in taking back your freedom and your privacy from big tech. Don't even pause this video. Just pick one of the alt tech platforms. I think that Odyssey is the best. It's kind, it's a lot like YouTube. It's as good as YouTube as a video platform, but there's no annoying ads interrupting the videos. So just pick one of those. Again, I've got them linked below and join it in another tab or window while we get back to what you clicked on. If you're watching this, you're probably already considering premarital sex. Being a virgin isn't itself unattractive, but sexually experienced men have a naturally confident vibe that's hard for virgins to fake. Even Christian girls pick up on this vibe and respond positively to it. For men, the no sex before marriage thing made sense in a world where people got married at 18 years old. Unless you travel all the way to an impoverished village in Belarus, that world is gone. Let's say you're an 18-year-old religious virgin who is committed to purity till marriage. I would say, go now and work your ass off, young man, to find a similarly religious, traditional girl who's about your age that you can date and court who would be interested in marrying you in about 12 months. And then you're only waiting 12 months to lose your virginity. You know, it's a, a reasonable, reasonable trade-off, right? But if you're a 28-year-old virgin or older than that, than that even, your prospects are pretty dreary. The other women 
your age or around your age that are virgins, women that stay virgins until that time are going to probably be weird or unattractive in one way or another. You know, the sexual marketplace, it's almost kind of like a, a car lot. And the best cars, they get chosen, they get picked up off the lot early. They don't stick around for 10 years. And you might be saying, well, you know, plenty of men date younger women. That's, that's not so extraordinary. And that's true. Plenty of young, older men do date younger women. Uh, young 18-year-old women date men who are 10 years older than them, 15, tw even 20 years older than them. But that's typically because those older men are buying them, hooking them up with champagne and cocaine in nightclubs, okay? It's because of that, uh, that inequality between the lifestyle and the resources between the older man and the younger woman. And if you are a 28-year-old dude, a 30-year-old dude, and you're going after you're trying to hook up with an 18 year old girl who's still a virgin like you, you're going to be running into a lot of skepticism. You're gonna have a tremendous obstacle in the form of her probably similarly traditional religious father and family. They are going to really put a lot in your way because they're gonna say, hey, this guy's 10 years older than my daughter or 20 years older or however much older than my daughter. Why is this guy still single? Why is he unattached at this age if he's a traditional religious kind of guy? It's gonna be really pretty challenging. If you're a religious virgin well past adolescence, your best bet is to have some shallow, sinful, premarital sex. Ask God for forgiveness. God is supposed to be quite forgiving, if I understand the theology correctly. Get some experience under your belt, pun intended, so you have a bit more swagger and confidence. Then start searching for an attractive young religious woman. Now they will be much more interested in you, especially if you take the personal development steps described in this video. Wife material is anyone with three or less previous sexual partners. You are probably fantasizing about marrying a virgin yourself, but you need to look in the mirror and realize that you screwed up in not finding a wife earlier in life, and you're probably going to need to lower your standards some. So I said that even religious girls pick up on the vibe of a guy and they can sort of tell if you have a real scarcity mindset with women. And so if you're a religious guy and you don't, you re are determined not to have premarital sex and hey, I think that's uh, a good thing. I think that's an admirable thing in some ways. If that's you, then all the more reason for you to do all of the personal development stuff that I describe here, and especially the day game, which I'm going to talk about in a later module getting out there and approaching women and going on dates with them and even kissing them if you can. Kissing is not a sin. I've read quite a bit of the Bible and kissing, definitely not a sin, nor is approaching women or going on dates. And doing these things is going to give you that vibe that's going to make you attractive to the kinds of women that you are ultimately hoping to marry one day. I'll end this video with an important point. Not all men deserve sex, affection, or love in this life.
Not all men deserve that most exquisitely intimate and wet of female embraces. You may not. That's up to you. If you're a virgin or you're failing with women, that is almost certainly because you are dramatically underestimating the amount of action that you need to take with the limited time you have. If an abundant and rowdy sex life that perhaps leads in the future to a beautiful relationship and marriage and children and a meaningful legacy that you'll leave behind if you want those things, if that is something that you're willing to fight for, there are three transformational resources that I'd like to hook you up with for free. The first is my full two-hour uninterrupted documentary, 33 Steps to Losing Your Virginity along with an article with an action plan to go along with it and this infographic. If you make a devoted effort to get through these steps, you will lose your virginity. The process I'm going to put you through may be the greatest thrill of your life and it will be fun. And you'll put all of this frustration, longing and shame behind you. The second resource is four chapters from my book for men entitled Don't Stick Your Dick in a Blender, How to Meet a Nice Girl Instead from a Tantric Husband with a Better Sex Life Than You. These four chapters are going to give you a bunch of practical things that I bet you haven't tried. And I'm going to drop on you a lot of wisdom and knowledge nuggets via storytelling. In these chapters, I've got some great stories that you're gonna get a real chuckle out of. So you'll get a direct download of those chapters in EPUB Mobi, so you can use a Kindle device or uh, your smartphone or tablet to read them, along with audio chapters if you prefer to listen and learn. And the third transformational resource is Nine Steps to Becoming a Tantric Man. This is the first video module of my sex hacking course. It's a masterclass on reclaiming your sovereignty and recapturing your destiny with a little known set of tantric techniques for cultivating and yielding your sexual energy to build the meaningful life of abundance, joy, and carnal ecstasy you desire. If you're a virgin or sexually inexperienced, this 90 minute deep dive is going to give you some tantric exercises to get started with, which are going to dramatically increase your sexual confidence so that you can actually make some progress with the kinds of women you want. And at the end of the module, I'm going to send you on a solo mission to an odd place that's probably not that far away from you. And you're going to emerge from this solo mission on fire with inspiration and motivation you are going to be galvanized to go after what you really want in life. So jump on my newsletter for men about all things 
personal development, seduction, sex hacking through the link below this video. And you'll get immediate access to those three resources and a few other things. I'm Jonathan Roseland with Limitless Mindset. Looking forward to a continued conversation with you. And if you're not quite ready to dive into those transformational resources, if you want to do yet more passive information consumption, watch this video next.